Alright ladies and gentlemen, I am Pandras of the Mighty Mix Farmer, still continuing on with our multiplayer game, still trying our hardest, or at least I'm trying my hardest to actually not die, because now it looks like a lot of people desire my death, those warmongers, I mean it is not me who is declaring war on everybody else, it is everybody else, and by that I mean Genste, who's declaring war on me, I will not allow this, I will not have it, and obviously I will have to do something about this. That said, I do need to explore some moons and to get rid of some of those annoying anomalies, so I'll do just that. And uh, I need to make sure that everything is exploited because it is fairly important that it is now, isn't it? Alright, so definitely is that. Gaetra is also ready, it is exploited. Thank you, should be exploited. Oh, wait, wait, thank you, isn't exploited. So let's go to thank you. Man, it is a really important thing to name your system. Because even if... Oh, it, it will be exploited. Because even if you don't care about how you name your systems, and those are silly names, all of those, like the ones I'm using right now, it is so much easier to remember the, even those silly names than the default names that your system start with. Otherwise, it's just like, yeah, sup. <laughs> Try to remember this name. You're not gonna be able to do that. Anyway, this fleet could use an additional ship and let's move it all to Gurkha. Because hey, why not? I need to establish a decent solid line of defense. And oh, there's... Hey there, Steph Hawk. What are you doing over here? Are you on like a friendly stroll? I don't think... I don't really think you are. It feels like you're looking for trouble, dear boy. But I have an ally, so you better be careful. Now let's have a quick look at what his military is like. He's got a fairly powerful fleet over here, 12,000, no, 2700 military power, that's indeed very, very powerful, and I'll have difficulties fighting that with my puny little fleets, so I think it is about time I actually return to making a ton of ships everywhere. So, actually, low system is the most productive one around right now, so let's make sure that I change my heroes so that they are assigned to the proper system now, the whole system will like me less, but at the same time, construction yard, it will love me way more. So it has a ton of industry right now because I moved my hero and it cannot max out too much industry right now. That's okay, let's go for intense cultivation logistics. And after that, I will need more shields and a few more sickles as well. And by that, I mean a lot of those. Let's get some shields over here, more sickles, a shield or two, and more sickles, and end my turn just like that. I really need a lot of ships badly because otherwise people are just going to rope stomp my face. I mean, I can feel Stealth Hawk is just ready to rampage. He is about to declare war on me, which is ironic considering that I stopped myself from declaring war on him for such a long time. And oh, less speed on all factors, that actually is okay for me because I'm pretty certain there are a lot of fleets that are coming in my general direction and this way yeah, they it will take them longer. So, Game Slayer. What did you do? Why did you <coughs> sabotage everyone? I mean, it's obvious that he, it's his doing. He is the fanatic, so yeah. <laughs> Alright. Anyway, so, Tempo of Cosmic Dedication, plus 10% uh, on Star System and on Gaetria. That's actually incredibly amazing. This system is going to be amazing. It does all the industry, so that's fairly good. My hero leveled up. What do I want to give him? Nothing in particular right now. I mean, he does need more labor. I mean, he is on my home system, so he definitely needs more labor in order to be able to, you know, utilize the richness of my home system. Now, I have more fleets over here. I feel like I need to move them to the north, but at the same time, there's not too many of those ships, so I might as well... Make sure that they stay over here and they guard Delphinus from anybody that wants to attack that. Two more at ten. Wow, I feel sorry for you. But man, this guy is actually going deep inside my borders. I don't feel too secure about that. So, you know what? I feel like... Let's invite him to Alliance one more time. Uh, wait, he's uncertain about this Alliance request. We know about this. And I'm actually willing to give you some Desperate 10 if you agree. And by some, I mean like, let's for example say... I'm willing to give him 50 dust per 10 if he joins our alliance, so... Let's see if Stealth Hawk will agree to that. Hopefully he will, because otherwise uh, we'll have a war on our hands. And while war might be a nice thing, I'd rather kill Genshin first, and then I have to deal with, obviously, Stealth Hawk, because he's a nice guy, I don't want to kill him. He really wants to kill me, wow. He is... he's dedicated. 
He's dedicated, I can say this for a fact. That's fine. I'm dedicated as well. I'm making a wonderful, powerful military that will wipe him off the face of the earth. And he will be sorry, trust me on this one. Anyway, anything else I need to do? Let's have a look at clerk. Thank you, could make me some ships. Actually, this is a fairly productive system right now. So that's nice. But let's first of all make sure that I've got more ships so that actually are worth anything. And uh, well, you, you are losing. You are losing a lot per turn. Aren't you? Anyway, looks like he doesn't want to join our alliance. Well, silly him. I wanted to be thankful. I mean, not thankful, but helpful. I wanted to let him join my alliance, but apparently now he, he feels like it's time for war. Alright. He brought this on himself, I believe. I think we can all agree about that. So, actually, why am I making those ships? I was supposed to design a new series of ships. Hmm. More powerful than ever. What can they do? Support module armor? Yes, please. I will have this armor. I'm very happily. Because I obviously do need it. Let's have some... I cannot actually install the power module because it will take too much space. But I can get a battle bomber and I can still fit in. Actually, this guy will... He will be my... I don't need the power, but this guy will be my tank, in fact, my new tank. So, battle fighter, let's go for free, two of those, and a point defense drone. Let's also make sure that this guy has got... Why can I not get a shield module? That's very strange. Apparently, I no longer have the antimatter. Or maybe I... Oh, I see, I just don't have enough room for anything else. Alright, so let's get rid of... Let's get rid of one of my fighters. I think that's a fairly solid idea. And get some deflectors going. In fact, way more deflectors and way more everything else. I still want to leave one fighter in. And this armor is fairly awesome, so I'll leave it in. I li like this guy. So, armor. That's not how you're supposed to spell armor. Uh, apparently, this game thinks that that's how you're supposed to spell it. So, let's make it like so. So, declare war. OMG. You war monsters. So, people with the crowd warn me. <clears throat> I'm not even fast in fids. So, yeah, anyway. This guy wants uh, all of my dust pretend for a cooperation agreement. Go away. I'm not gonna agree to that. So, fine. If you want war, then uh, I will, you know... I will say yes to that, but actually there's apparently Gensai over here. It's just that he's very slowly making his way towards me. Fine then. Uh, yeah, let's manual. Because it's a fairly big uh, battle and we do want to see some fight. So, my sickles are probably going to die. Yeah, they are going to die. The enemy has a lot of peacekeepers. They have long range kinetics. I don't have a lot of defense. And uh, what now? The amoeba? Oh wow. Everybody is just trying to kill me just because they feel like it. That's so not cool. So uncool. <laughs> wow. Alright. I see how it is. They just want me dead. That's fine. Anyway, this guy... Actually, you know what? I don't think I'm going to... Well, let's see how well I do. Let's start by going for short circuit. And see, Pan, we've been uh, since before. <laughs> well, that's very nice, can say. Really, I enjoy it a great deal. Thank you. I appreciate it a lot. Anyway, let's enter the manual battle. And let's see, resistant is futile. Wow. And I cannot believe I want it to be peaceful. But those warmongers, they want death. And they will get it. I mean, I've got one ally, but he's not the most powerful one. And it feels like Stealth Hawk, he... He's looking for trouble, he's going to attack me as well. I'm going to be attacked on two fronts, but this front, where Gensler is, this is the problem, because people are just storming in and they want me to die. That's definitely what they will try to achieve. So anyway, I've got level 1 hero, definitely not going to be enough to attack Gensler. And he went for camouflage, so we both counter each other. Look at all those nice, shiny effects. Now, unfortunately, my sickles are not fit to do the job. In fact, the enemy is optimized to attack me at long range. So right now, I'll take a little bit of a beating. In fact, I'll really take a lot of a beating, but that's what I can do. And unfortunately, there's much else I can do. Can I stop defense in any way, shape or form? 
Unfortunately, I unfortunately I cannot. So I guess he's dealing a ton of damage. I'm taking, he's taking no damage in return, and uh, we'll see how things change in the next battle. Now you have to keep in mind that this Sekuami is a pretty old one, and I do have some bombers. Look at my tiny little bombers doing their job like they're supposed to. All oh, those cute little babies. I'm really happy that Malos at least is an ally with me. I mean, I, it feels like he might actually declare war on me fairly soon, but maybe he won't. Maybe he'll be a good, valuable ally for me to have. He won't be, but let's pretend like he will be. Anyway, the enemy knows that I have no Hexaferon because of Stairhawk, who... I think this is a... You know what? This is obviously a setup. Stairhawk, a Gaze Lair, uh, this other guy, Coxos, and uh, Swarmlord, they both talked to each other to make sure that I didn't have Hexaferum, and they are now spamming those kinetic stats because they know they can abuse them to great effect. Anyway, I do have some bombers, and apparently Gensler is not protected against them at all, but obviously if this battle did the hell and all that well, I did lose three ships, but at the same time I'm still stopping Gensler and he took a little bit of damage. Almost no damage, of course, you have to keep this in mind, but at least that's something. So, that's alright, and Swarmlord attacks me as well, wow, everybody attacks me. You warmongers. <laughs> Alright, so everybody tries to kill me, that's fairly annoying. I cannot do that, I have to run away, there's nothing else I can do. Machine sickle, wow. They aren't even going for one type of, you know, offensive power. I have to run away, there's nothing else I can do. Run like the bastards I am, because otherwise it's just the end. In fact, I, you know what, I might give those systems to my friend, and then again, we are... <laughs> he is at war with other people as well. You know what, I might give those systems to Stephawk if he joins our alliance. I mean, I know he wants to backstab us. I know this is exactly what is happening, but at the same time, maybe he will change his mind if I give him a lot of those systems. I mean, they are nice systems now. He shouldn't complain, he should actually be quite thankful for this opportunity. So anyway, they get rid of that, get a bunch of ammo. I need this badly, and that's the all that I can get, unfortunately, so you just, uh, you just make a bunch of armor as well. Go away, go away, go away. Not sickle, armor, thank you very much. And you instead make a bunch of sickles. Because I need it. And this time around, this guy actually, that's strange. It looks like fleets are ready for battle, but I'm pretty sure we are ready for quite a long time now, so that's kind of ridiculous, a little bit. Anyway, apparently I cannot even end my turn as well, so that's very strange, whatever. Meanwhile, I'll try to see if I can get this guy to invite to him to Alliance. If I give him, let's see what I can give him. Gaitria, I'm not gonna give him, but I can give him Gorka, Faith. Uh, Faith has got a good system, Gorka is as well. So, if he doesn't accept this, then I'll hate him forever and I'll bar him from my channel. Yeah, I, I won't do that. But I invite him to Alliance, I'll give him... Goka and I'll give him faith. And I hope that he will be fine with this. L yeah, look at that. He is obviously trading Hexaferon to other people. But let's see if he accepts this alliance offer. Let's see. And also, I'll need to pause the recording because I need to ask what is going on with this battle. Be right back.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have no idea how long it was in my real lifetime. For you, it was just a blink of an eye, but a ton of stuff happened. I got a worthless hero again. Woohoo for me. Uh, wow, it is difficult to explain all the things that are going on right now. But behind the scenes, when we are trying to rehost the game like 45 billion times because it kept sinking, us talk a bit. Bill. Deal behind the scenes with Starhawk. And now we've got an alliance together, the three of us, against the rest of the galaxy. So as you can see, there's uh, one versus one, one could say, except it's a team one versus one. And apparently those guys I also invited my law system. Oh, you bastard, I give you the lol next do. And then this is how you repay me? This is what you do? Alright then. In this case, I will have to, you know, react to that, and uh, you're not going to like this, dear friend. You're not going to like this at all. So, first of all, create a fleet. That would probably be, you know, that would probably help a little. As for my other fleets, well, they're going to go back, some of them. I need some of them to go down, unfortunately. But some of them can go back, like so. Some of them will not. This sequin, a couple of armors, I need them at Delphinus. And that's basically just... Uh, mobilizing my fleet so that they can reach the right destinations. Now I guess it will wipe out my fleet of old hammers without any problem. They will just feed his hero some extra levels because there's, there isn't much else I can do unfortunately to stop this guy. Those guys, uh, they will have to, I'll have to create them and then I'll have to run away because that's the only thing I can do and I do need those guys to actually, you know, do something. So guess they are taunts me. Oh wait, no, he doesn't doubt me, he is also fighting on a different front as well. So, basically because the galaxy is split in half... <laughs> yeah, I do have only Pinion ships, can say, I'm sorry. Basically because the galaxy is split in half, everybody is almost fighting on two fronts. Which is going to be an issue, but you know, there is much we can do about it. And fortunately, my invasion fleets escaped in the right area. I cannot believe I gave this bastard a system. I thought that would be nice, but no. He's like, now I deserve more. Well... He's about to get what he deserves, and what he deserves is rightful death. Nothing more, nothing less. Anyway, let's get a bunch of upgrades on Kiss Me, because hey, why on earth not? Let's make sure that there are more ships going downstairs, and by downstairs I mean to the south E area, because I need them over there. Man, there is a dying of ship navigation, but low next to it will have to fall down, and I will make everything I can to make it fall down. I want to send a lot of ships on, on intergalactic travel, to this area and start taking over the enemy systems, take the fight to them, as one could say. But unfortunately, with this galactic event that lowers, go away, lowers everybody's speed by half, and that is still in place for nine turns, this is going to be relatively difficult, not to say incredibly challenging to deal with, especially since, you know, we're about to be, we are being attacked and the enemy, you know, is at our doorstep while we have to regroup, especially me and Steph Hawk. I mean, we were ready for a full on war. He's got, he had a lot of shit, but fortunately, I was able to persuade him to actually do something else. Fleet inbound, I'm not too sure what he means by that, but I guess. Oh, never mind, wrong person. Ooh. Steph Hawk, are you trying to backstab me? Um. Well, I'm not going to backstab. Stab me, are you? Anyway, I think he, I think that's what it is. I think uh, that, you know, Steph Hawk is actually going to backstab me. Either that, although he was talking to Malus uh, and he's trying to help him. I hope that this is the case. I mean, this would be far mu much more challenging and fun if this guy was split in half. If Steph Hawk just joins the opposition party, then he, then they will absolutely annihilate the two of us because we are not fit for a war. Uh, for war. Uh, I don't really believe you, Steph Hawk, all that much. I mean, you've not been entirely honest to me all that uh, time, but. But I am willing to believe that he was talking to what, so, alright. Okay, okay. I'll pretend like I tr I believe him and trust him. No, I'm not gonna ask him. I, I believe him, sort of. And even if I don't, then I don't have anything else. Uh, I don't have any option. I can either trust that he will not backstab me, or just lay on the floor and 
die because there isn't much else I can do, unfortunately. Anyway, you do set. You will need to give me some more armor and some more bombers and some more everything because I really need more ships and I need them pronto on the front lines because otherwise I'll be in a lot of trouble with against uh, trying to capture what they can. And same goes for other enemies. Fortunately, they didn't think to bring invasion ships with them so they can only blockade systems. But they have no chance to actually capture them. I mean, everything that they try to capture will have this 999 thingy next to them because they are unable to do anything efficiently until they bring the, you know, annihilator ships in. And this is where the problems will start. So what I will need to do after I get my dreadnoughts, which I definitely need, is first of all, why not actually get rid of the penalty on the col by colonizing Tundras? When colonizing Tundras, because that's ridiculous, I still have it. Same goes for contamination fields, why not get rid of that as well? Then go for tectonic engineering. I mean, no, then go for the dreadnoughts, because that's what is important, that's what the kids want. Then go for tectonic engineering. Uh, yeah, I know, but thank you anyway. So, Hawk, and then finally, what did I want to do? <laughs> I don't remember. Oh, yes, I remember. Dust to dust, so that I can dismantle the enemy systems and I already have the bombs that can target the enemy population and stuff but I do not have Oculactics to use them so I will need to grab that ASAP and by ASAP I mean uh, not too soon at all but uh, you know I'll try to do what I can anyway let's sort my systems by the production and unfortunately they're not all that productive I have a lot of ships that are not doing a lot of stuff and that's a little bit of a problem but hey I cannot do much more than just pray at this point in time now can I Gaitria, you, my dear friend, you can just go for industry to gust, gust, dust conversion. Problem is, I'm losing a lot of dust and it isn't going to change because I still have a lot of ships. They're not being very strong ships, but... <laughs> I see. They're not being the very strong uh, strong ships, so they cost me a lot and they give me not a lot of in return. But at least there are some. this is something that can protect me from the enemy. Anyway, did I restart my timer? Yes, indeed I did. I wonder how this particular video cast is longer already, because obviously I lost the track of time a long, long ago. We've been desynced so many times, I have no idea. I've been talking for several hours, so it's not too good. And oh, yeah, that's uh, right. Gensa does gain Bushido Charles by uh, each victory, and he does gain Bushido Charles when he successfully invades a system. I'm really surprised those guys didn't fight, I, but really, as it turns out, Gensa. Has been, he knew that I will focus on commentary, right? So one, what I bet happened is he continuously kept talking to those two guys and was planning to attack me together. And then those guys were like, fine, why not? Let's attack him. And that's, I think, what actually happened. And I don't know why the trust against them. I mean, those two, they don't want my videos. You can clearly tell that this is the case because otherwise they wouldn't trust against there. Against there is a warmonger, he's a traitor, he's a thief. He, uh, he's an unbelievably evil person that just deserves to be killed. I'm more evil than he is, but he's he's got less class and his videos cast are worse. Ha! Take that, Gensler! I just flamed you to the maximum. Now, anyway, we could end this turn, right? I mean, I'm not gonna ask anybody to finish the turn faster because most of the people that I'm waiting for are my allies. And I want them to remain my allies. And look at my score, it's not even the highest anymore. As I suspected, the Malos are the guys that are the big players in the Game of Thrones. And I am just a puny little weakling guy. I still have the second uh, best fit, but it's only second. It's nowhere near what, where it needs to be. Knowledge is decent. It's at this point in time where I wish I could trade it with other people, but trading knowledge is really something I felt like I have to disable because otherwise this would be so imbalanced. It already is significantly imbalanced, but you know, Training large, it's not something I feel like doing. Maybe I should have, may, I'll think about this for the next video cast. Anyway, my military is still only 4th, unfortunately, and I am spending a lot of gold on it. That's a little bit of a problem, I mean, I have 2nd most ships, but my military is 4th. Now, I bet that Stealthhawk has it the 3rd, 2nd and 1st best military. So that's good, we have one guy with big military. Gangster is probably way out there with powerful military. So the question is, is this, is one of those two guys the one guy who's got one of the most powerful militaries. Or is it my ally again? And if that's the case, then maybe, just maybe, I'll be able to do something. And you're putting them into stacks of one. What is he talking about? Oh, the fleets. Well, he can't do much else now, really. But unfortunately, it looks like my friend from Malos doesn't really know how to fight too efficiently. And he's losing a little bit too significantly to my liking. But at the same time, I am hoping that he can turn this around. I mean, 
he's definitely not an unexperienced player from what I was able to see thus far, so everything should be alright, more or less, maybe. Let's hope that this is indeed going to be the case. I mean, it's kind of hilarious how this game ended. I mean, I was afraid about other Steph Hawk, I even wanted to take level 1 Steph Hawk at some point in time, and now it's this. <laughs> it is a little bit hilarious, isn't it? Oh well. Anyway, another ship on, another boom baby boom. That's a little bit surprising, but I've got him now, that's nice to know. Anyway, you just said, uh, you just go to thank you, and then I'll send those guys somewhere else on a journey to Lone Next Door. I might actually send them straight away over there. I should be able to wipe out the ships that are orbiting Lone Next Door. I'm guessing that the amoebas are putting a lot of their money into buying out their ships right now, so, I'm guessing, so that's most likely what is happening at this particular point in time. That's okay though, let's select all of those guys, let's get them together and let's declare a fight that I'm sure to win. So the enemy now knows what kind of weapons I'm using, but that's okay. It doesn't really matter because I'm having multiple different random ships, so they might be a little bit confused, that would at least be optimal. I would say, Optimo is a good word. So let's start by going with short circuit and then narrow persistence and by then the enemy should be dead. If he isn't then I'll be mighty surprised. Alright, gives me colonize some kind of system, so that's nice. In fact, I could colonize even more systems, but I might as well not do it. Because, I don't know, Kismi doesn't feel, I don't feel like Kismi fancies my tickling. Which doesn't mean anything, it's just a random word. I spared it out, it is supposed to mean something. But I think it is about time I start changing exploitations on some of my systems. I still have exercise stations, so that's very lol. But whatever, whatever. Don't hate or you will be hated. And don't judge or you will be judged. Anyway, I need to make sure that more of my fleet is indeed uh, going in the right direction. I need to free blue balls, because otherwise it will be in a little bit of trouble. In fact, I can send a sickle, because this is just a single ship. It's a scout ship that is trying to besiege my system, even though it cannot really do so efficiently or effectively. It still does it, because this way it knows that the system is pretty much worthless when trying to produce anything. Alright. Now, Yuri says, you just, let's just select everybody, merge those guys together, and send them to LOL system because somebody is trying to be annoying and apparently this guy actually stood up and fight. Uh, shouldn't have upgraded your CP. <laughs> okay, I don't know what it means. I mean, CP is a uh, command point, it's what lets you put more ships in a fleet, but I don't know why somebody should not do it. I'm rather confused about this whole affair. Right, people are kissing me. Do I need them or no? The, the answer is no, I need them south and I need them south quickly. I will deal with the small invasion that the amoebas are trying to pull over over here with no with Lola next to. I'll deal with that. This is not really a big problem. And the Genslayer, yeah, he's just trying to kill the weaklings. A few Genslayer, you're just tr trying to kill people. You know what he's? Tr I know what is. I know what it, it is. He's trying to feel good about himself because he always loses against me in endless space. So. Uh, let's say manual for explosions. I mean, I know I'm probably most likely going to lose this battle, so why not go for explosives? Obviously, I'm going to go for Nosebreaker again because, you know, this is the only way for me to actually deal any damage to Genslayer. And uh, what kind of cards do I want to go for? Let's start with Adopted Strategy, maybe. I mean, guess I will probably go for Camouflage because it is a very powerful card. Let's start with Attack of Surgery, then again, he likes long range, so I should be ready to overcome any obstacles in long range. Afterwards, I will go for Shot Circuit, and then for Adaptive the Strategy, because this is where I guess I will be the weakest. And yeah, Steph Hawk, that's something I've been telling all the time, all the time, to everyone. Bushido is really ridiculous once you get you kind of get it rolling. I mean, I don't even want to know what kind of Bushido levels Gensley has at this point in time. They are probably clingly ridiculous. Anyway, Titanium, don't make any more ships when you shouldn't. And all right, Gensley accepted the battle. We're about to see some action, guys. Finally, we really needed them in this video cast. I really hope I didn't screw over the timing. I really hope that each cast is an hour long. But I probably did mess something up. We'll see what happens. Anyway, this time around, Gensei has a hero. I don't. He's got a big, scary fleet. I don't. He's just so happy because he was able to make those pick and skippers I wasn't able to do. He's trying to get his revenge for all those times I annihilated him in endless space. That's fine, though.
I mean, I have no problems with that. And yet again, he went for sabotage because why wouldn't you go for sabotage? It is a powerful card indeed. Maybe I should actually get it myself. But we will see what happens next. In the medium range, I go medium range. I mean, I go for the shot second. All right. So let's see what happens. My ships apparently, well, my camera man is apparently retarded because he doesn't know where to put his camera to film the action. But now we see a little bit more of it. By which I mean I see the underbelly of one of my ships and still not much is happening whatsoever. So I can see one of my ships who did go down. The others are just firing random stuff at Gensley, trying to do some damage. But obviously they're not working all that well. Gensley went for a weapon overclock, that's fine. He tries to do as much as, as he possibly can. He obviously will be able to do just that. I could run away, but he still would get his Bushido bonus from that. And he doesn't have any defenses against bombers, so I need to abuse that if at all possible. I need to make sure that Stephok knows about this weakness, because if there is something we can use to fight against there, then this is it. He doesn't have any defenses against bombers, and this could be the weakness that will actually pierce through his armor and destroy his defenses. This will be what breaks the strength of his armies. Meanwhile, however, this battle doesn't go as well as I was hoping. I mean, did I deal any damage whatsoever? I did deal some, but a very small amount. And apparently my people, they cannot force fire at all. It's most likely because Gensei went for the formation where the ship with the most HP is at the top of the line for me to target. So every single ship that I could target is now being targeted because as a direct result of that. Alright, well, that's good to know. Now, give me a second. I need to notify Starhawk about this. So, Genslayer has no defense against bombers. Let's make sure that uh, those guys know about this. Because it's a fairly big flaw in his fleet and we might be able to abuse it, if at all possible. I didn't even look if what I tapped was grammatically correct. It is very possible that it wasn't, but at least I tried, right? And trying is half the battle. Or maybe it was winning, whatever. You just say you're not gonna be able to go out of faith, so just stay in faith because there isn't much else you can do. Delphi knows, my dearest friend. Uh, oh no, he doesn't even have bombers, that's a problem. <laughs> Anyway, Delphi knows, my dear friend, let's make sure that you're not captured too quickly, shall we? And uh, shall you? Or oh, whatever. Because I, I don't really want the enemy to actually have those systems, this would be fairly bad. And there isn't anything else I can do. Unfortunately, this event that I thought would protect me, the event with engine control tech for discovered, is really hurting me a lot more than the enemies. Because the enemies, they were already waiting in 08 for probably like eternity, waiting this strike. And uh, my fleets, they all have to convert from north to south. Same goes for Starhawk, especially since he he wanted to kill me and he didn't actually. I was very surprised he didn't capture Hunter yet. I mean, it's not a good system, but it is a system. It does have a lava in it, a couple of asteroids. I guess he is really trying to make his tall but not very powerful empire. He's doing a decent job at it so far, I guess, maybe. Can I increase my tax rate? I can, I don't really want to just yet. I think I'll have to do just fine with what I have got thus far. Do I dare to risk, risk, risk getting some more in the, I mean, not, wow, I can't speak, it's because I've been talking for too long. Anyway, I'm gonna go for industry to dust conversion on my law system because I do need a little bit more dust. I want to stop losing it at least for a 10, then I'll continue making more ships. But at the moment, I think that this little petty invasion of the enemy was, it will be averted. I will be able to annihilate them fairly quickly and this will be an enjoyable show indeed. Now, where is my hero? Did she die? I think she may have died. No, she just have no excitement. She's like, yeah, whatever. I'll be there when the next fight starts. You just go, you just guys go ahead and run ahead, uh, run out ahead or whatever. What the F do you think our reforms was are? <laughs> I don't actually know what they're referring to, but whatever. Uh, so, yeah, we're laughing that Gensei was the guy who invented the engines that are 40. Fortunately, though, it means that their reinforcements, it will take them a long time to get anywhere. So, they already have a lot of the stuff on the front lines, but to get any more stuff to the front lines, it will be a challenge in and on itself. So, maybe this will give us an advantage. Still, though, now I kind of wish I didn't take off this option that this allows us to trade tech because I'll just give all the tech I've got to my allies and then we'll, we'll dominate together because obviously I have the knowledge advantage. But that is a little bit going a little bit too far, in my opinion. It would just mean that we would draw off the stomp the other guys. Then again, they deserve to be, to you know, for that to happen. I mean, they attacked me without a word of provocation just because the games they thought that this might be fun. Those guys, those backstabbing bastards, we could have 
had so many things going for us, but no, they had to declare war on me. Well, they will suffer. I can promise them that. My allies, they are not the guys to mess it around with. Serhawk mostly. Malus is also a powerful guy, and I hope that he will be able to do a lot of damage to the enemy. He still didn't deal with this pirate, though, which is a little bit amusing. Where are his ships? Where, is, where are his armies? Oh, holy Toledo! Here they are! I found his armies, guys! <laughs> Well, he's got a lot of ships, I can promise you that. But unfortunately, he doesn't do anything to protect Funkies. So that's a little bit of a problem. Starhawk is still slowly but surely sending his reinforcements downstairs. And by downstairs, I mean to where the action is. And it will take him an absolute eternity. Unfortunately, now each time takes us apparently half an hour. So what I'm going to do is pause the recording for a little bit. And uh, I don't know. I cannot eat anything because this would... Uh, uh, you know, imp this wouldn't be good for the uh, for my comedy editing. Then again, my comedy editing is already awful because I've been talking for so long and I'm just tired. I cannot express how tired I am while telling that I'm tired and I just told you. By the way, it's 2 a.m. in the morning, so just saying. Scout spam is no. He's doing the scout spam? Ooh. The bastard. Yeah, well. <laughs> Okay, if that's the case, then I know what to do. I definitely know what to do. I will do my scout spam on, on my own. Except then again, this guy likes Bushido, so... That's a little bit of a problem. I don't know. I don't think that I'm this kind of low person that just goes for scout spam to invade and attack every system. Then again, this would be the right thing to do. So I might just do that. I might do that. Why not? Let's just make a billion scouts on uh, where am I most productive except for law system, which is on the blockade. It is uh, Gaitria, and then there's Hawkeyes, and the construction yard is uh, much weaker than all of those systems combined. But this one is making me a lot of dust, and this one is too fast. So, construction yard, you'll be the guy who not only makes Planetary Institute today, but also you have the liberty of making a billion scouts. Hold on a second, they cannot invade because they don't have any weapons, they need to have something to actually be able to invade. So let's retrofit them a tiny little amount by giving them something that doesn't wait a lot. For example, this here just costs 25. Instead, I could just give them a kinetic, the weakest and cheapest one I could find. So that's it, now it has some kind of military power, guys. This scout is totally not just there to be lame and whatnot. So yeah, let's just make a billion scouts because I, if the enemy is using this cheap tactic where they spam us with a ton of small units and then invade our sh systems and pretend like they're trying to capture it, them, then it's really annoying so I can do the same thing, obviously. Now, the reason why I don't like this strategy is because it's... It shouldn't be in endless space to begin with, honestly, because it's it doesn't make sense. I mean, there's one little ship with 42 military strength, yet it blockades an entire system that has like a ton of defenses on it. And by ton of defenses, I mean barely any defenses. But still, it's an entire system. It it's a single little tiny pinny ship, so it shouldn't be able to blockade an entire system. If it had more military power, sure, but it doesn't. So that's the little problem. Anyway. Uh, I, well, if they stop using this tactic, then I guess I will stop spamming my scouts, which I just queued up on construction yard. But then again, I feel like they should be punished because they've been using it for a while now, and you know, they need to be punished. As simple as that. Anyway, since the people at the place are taking forever, is there anything that is actually stagnated? Hulk Gazer is. Oh wow! <laughs> no wonder it only has a single plant colonize. All right, let's colonize everything. I mean, how much does the system like me? It's actually ecstatic. Well, it won't be for much longer because I'm about to make it hate me, absolutely. But that's okay, then I'll give him unlimited information how and then it will love me again, which will be nice. And he's... Oh wow, Gensler, you're so low. That's okay, guys, that's okay. He will get his rightful share of pain and misery. I hope, I really, really hope. Am I recording this? Um, well, I am. I had to check because I was really terrified for a second. I need to be recording this. Who is going to win this war? Honestly, first of all, it is taking so long that I think that we'll all get old and die of our age before we finish this with the cast. But if we somehow manage to end this, then I think we have the advantage. I mean, the score advantage is on our side. Gensei is the only guy with higher score. Uh, with, I mean, if we split it, 
the, uh, the score in half, then uh, it's me, it's Malos, and it's Gensa, and then there's everybody else. So we have more players with higher score. In terms of fits, I'm very certain that it's Malos who's got the second highest fits. In terms of military, Stealth Hawk definitely has enough to carry us through this time of despair. It should be pretty good, it should be pretty good. Anyway, let's get a bunch of director abilities on my on my hero because he definitely does need them. What else is there? Construction Yard made a billion scouts, so they can be very annoying. Now happily make them be annoying. So you merge together so that those ships will not take, go down as easily as they did before. Now unfortunately Bushido that Gensei is using will be charged up as a direct result of that, but there isn't much I can do about it. Look at this mess. Look at this mess. Uh, look at everything that is happening right now. It is difficult to even believe, but whatever, we'll deal with that. Anyway, you just uh, actually make the sickle instantly. Why not? I have the dust to do it. And right now I'm losing a ton of dust. Actually, I'm losing 20 per 10. All right. And Swarmlord is attacking this guy. Uh, I would say Alto. There's no reason to fight him uh, in manual because, yeah, I'm just going to die. So I think I'll go for Nosebreaker, I'll go for Defensive Formation, and I'll go for... Uh, I don't even have a Tactical Offensive Retreat, I can only go for Normal Retreat, so that's uh, kind of funny. Clear Lahat, I need the Hexa. Uh, well, I will do that uh, happily, if I can do it, so I will commence the fight in a second, so first of all... You go away, you Amors. All of you blockade the system, alright? You attack this guy and make sure you actually can deal some damage. I don't think I have any weapons. I have a fighter though, so that's something. So uh, let's pretend like I actually can go for the strategy because hey, why not? You, the guy, will attack the other guy. <laughs> You the guy will attack the other guy, and the other guy will attack the other guy, alright? So, he, they run away, that's uh, fine with me, because, you know, they could have stayed there, I wouldn't be able to actually attack them, most likely. So, let's see the ships that can still fight, those are the two, alright? Let's see what I can do to make sure that this guy runs away. I probably cannot do a single thing, because I don't really have any defenses going on for me. But I can at least try, and this is all that matters. Okay, you the second, you go over there, Dress continues to go somewhere else. 4,000 dust per turn, I guess, he's getting, so, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and what else is there? The ammo? Oh, yeah. My fleets are waiting for the enemy fleets, but this guy can just go to over there, but he cannot really do that just yet. <sighs> All right. Let's, let's think about what else is there to do. I'm about to declare another battle on the Coxus because he's trying to attack Bulu Balls in the peeniest, tiniest, most insignificant way possible. Uh, now, as for you, this, uh, you make sure that this system is uh, not here. So, tactics and more tactics and taxis all the way across the sky. Make sure that this guy isn't here. He is ready for battle and ready for combat. He will die because he cannot retreat anywhere. That's right, because, you know, we cannot uh, retreat anywhere if sister surrounding you are belonging to the enemy, so that's nice. I yet again have the abundance of Hydro Meal, so that's good. I can eat as much Hydro Meal as I want to, and this gives me a ton of food, which is by all means, pro you know, positive. Here you go, just go over there, if at all possible. There's so much micromanagement, I cannot even wrap my head around it, but anyway, all of those tiny little scouts, how about we send them to little corners of the galaxy everywhere? and uh, give my, the enemy team a taste of their own medicine because this is what they did it is really uncool now my scouts will probably take a billion years to make it to the enemy systems but at the very least you know they will learn that messing with pancakes is uncool <laughs> so you just uh, go on an intergalactic journey first of all go on a normal journey to blue balls and uh, actually you know what hmm I don't care, let's just send them the longest way possible, so you go over there, you go over there, you go over there, you go over there. <laughs> they will never make it, don't get me wrong, I barely have any movement in terms of interstellar movement, you know, independent interstellar movement I mean, but you know, it is worth to try, it is worth to try. Maybe one day I could theoretically try to rush for the technology that will give me more movement speed, and that's actually fairly easy to get, so... Let's first of all make sure that I do have those dreadnoughts because I need them badly, then more tonnage, 
then dust to dust and uh, I think I wanted something else as well but I don't really remember what it was symbiotic platforms would be nice but I didn't even have oh yeah it was all Kalakix that I needed because I don't have it at all right now and it is fairly important not to say even essential uh, maybe I'm going a little bit too fast and essential and wow there is a lot of scouts over there I guess it is a little bit hilarious isn't it now then I'm seriously thinking I might, you know, collapse on the floor after we finish this cast or even while I'm making this cast because there are just too many things happening and oh, those things, I never even made them because we had this desync and I never queued up the order to actually make those structures. That's a little bit unfortunate because they are fairly important and I was hoping that I have them already. So let's see if that, oh, that's interesting, strike on blue balls. Alright, let's make sure that this is not the case. Not that I'm not being conquered everywhere, I actually am gaining a decent amount of dust per turn. Not a very good one, but still gaining some, which is good. Thank you, why not give me more food, because it is important. Blue balls, you need some more happiness and whatnot. Anybody else that needs some stuff, well, I do need more... Actually, Hulk Geyser is so far away, he doesn't need defense, he doesn't need some more food, however. Kiss me is in the middle of nowhere. Why don't we give him more food? And more that I actually cannot. Never mind. You go away, you go away as well. And now I'm in fact losing an absolute ton of gold. I mean dust, so now I'm losing less. And now I'm gonna be losing even less so so I'll be on the plus again. Alright, so let's see what is happening. Alright, the game says in a little bit of trouble, which is good. My friend finally is going to stop him from capturing funkies. That's definitely positive. Billion scouting ships were decided to sail away from the construction yard, and I think I need, will need to pause this video cast because those players are taking forever to end their turns, unfortunately. So this is it. I'll pause and I'll be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have finally finished a turn. It only took like half an hour because Genshin takes forever to do his turns, unfortunately. Anyway, now I should have a fleet on Faith, except it disappeared. Oh, there I go. Now I'm going to blockade the fifth so that nobody can get anywhere. And there is in fact an invader going to smeg layer. That's a little bit annoying, but that's fine. My people will join their armies over there, their forces and their whatnots. And will become a powerhouse unstoppable by everybody and everything, maybe. Pro most likely probably not. You have to excuse me being a little bit, you know, not the most uh, efficient guy with my commentary. Because I am... Wait, what? Oh wow, it's a pirate system. <laughs> well, at least it's going to stop the guest there for a while and uh, everybody else, so that's nice. Not for long, unfortunately. Anyway, what was I about to say? I have no idea. I am really tired. It is almost about to be 3 a.m. in the morning. I thought we started not too late, but apparently it is actually fairly late already, so that's... Not optimal if you ask me, not optimal indeed. I'm trying to stay awake, I'm trying to continue commentating, and it's the biggest challenge of my life. I have been recording for like 3 hours in the past, but it's more like 5 hours now, or even more than that. It's kind of ridiculous. So anyway, let's actually make sure that my fleets are ready to rumble, and by rumble I mean attack the enemy. A bunch of defenders with a bunch of kinetics, whereas I have sickles that have uh, defensive stuff and I'm not gonna go for Nosebreaker I'm gonna go for Guillotine instead so two, uh, those two ammo they are here to tank the damage in fact most HP that's what I should go for because those ships have a ton of HP and those guys they only have melee kinetics I'm surprised they have so much military power in fact that's a little bit you know unnerving I one could say but whatever I think we'll do just fine let's start with short circuit because it's a nice beginning of stuff and then repair in damage I may have taken in the meantime faith uh, it can wait so let's see I'm gonna go to manual because I just want to show you a little bit more battles and wars and whatnot because battles and wars and whatnot are fun and if you disagree then you obviously are not a warmonger like the cool people like the cool kids and apparently my Emperor now loves me wonder why I do not didn't even get rid of additional expansion of the pro that's still fairly strange anyway I have to manual and see where the shots are going yeah last time it didn't work out too well for you when you did the manual did we did you just in case you don't remember actually you don't remember because you've seen it like a couple of seconds ago for me it has been like an entire hour but 
for you it has not so I might as well go into manual because I feel like it everybody else I really said that he is going for manual battles maybe next time when we play this I'll actually turn manual battles off because it looks like people are abusing them I mean I know that showing manual battles in a video cast is awesome yeah I then I love manual battles but at the same time the problem is that a lot of those people over here uh, you know they need they don't want to wait I don't want them to wait as well it is not nice I don't want to wait for them and we're, it's not like we're playing a lot of Mario Battles anyway, so it's not like you people on YouTube are getting a lot of Mario Battles. So, note to self, next time turn Mario Battles off, turn a, on a turn timer at the end of the turn after everybody but one player has finished the turn. This would be nice, wouldn't it? I mean, I'm pretty sad that this would speed up a bunch of stuff. Let's have a quick look at what kind of cards we went for. Weapon Disruption, then Weapon Overclock. Well, I am just farming another repair systems because I know that I can repair fairly well while the enemy, but they are trying to do some damage to me and they are succeeding a little bit, but I, the thing that is worrying me is that I basically am unable to do a lot of damage to them, which is what I was hoping for. So anyway, let's go for another repair systems again, because hey, why not actually... Oh, I wanted to change it in the last possible second, but I didn't. I actually wanted to go for tactics. I don't think it would counter this defense, but still at the same time i'm pretty sure that the enemy is going to die my bombers and fighters will do the trick they are fairly decent at dealing damage people underestimate bombers and fighters and they are fairly important damage dealers especially when you have difficulties piercing through the enemy's damage in different ways so i in my opinion having some bombers and fighters in your fleet is nearly a necessity because first of all you need to be defended if the enemy goes for a lot of bombers and fighters secondly those bombers they can actually deal a lot of damage if they are left unchecked so you always have to worry you always have to make sure that it is close by all right so how late is it uh, over there in europe it is let me tell you 2 36 a.m pretty late uh <laughs> yeah i'm a little bit tired as you might imagine but i'm still there still trying to you know do what i do which is provide people with entertainment and the uh, stuffs and uh, whatnot you actually disband i'm gonna disband this fleet for now i wanted to stay over there uh, as for the fleet on faith i'm really happy that it was the swarm lord who attacked me and not against him because otherwise it could have a little bit of a problem and you, because Gensei would continue getting his Bushido bonus, I don't want him to gain his Bushido bonus, obviously. Now, I will stand my ground. I'll stay over here, try to survive for as long as possible. What kind of weapons are the enemy going for? Is the enemy going for long red beans and missiles? That's very difficult to deal with. But I'll try my hardest and dandiest by going for a short second. Afterwards, I think that a decent idea is to go for weapon disruption. Actually, first of all, I'll go for weapon disruption, then short second, and then repair any damage I have taken if I survive until this point in time. And I seriously doubt uh, down, uh, that I will be able to do that. Anyway, let's see what is happening. I wow, I was obliterated. That's uh, not too positive. But I stood my ground, which is important for some people, not unimportant for others. I wonder why. All right, let's see. Midgard systems are ready to give me a bunch of ships. Not too many of them, unfortunately, but I can try. Let's get another. Actually, no. Let's wait for one more turn. I'll soon gain access to dreadnoughts, and then wonderful things will happen. Until then, I can end my turn and pause the recording my cast because I don't want you, my dear audience, to wait as everybody else is taking forever to the end of the turn. And a problem. I'm only fed in knowledge. How did that happen? I don't know, but it's probably because those guys. Their systems are not being occupied by anybody, while my systems and the Malus' systems are being currently invaded, so we lose a ton of dust and uh, science from this. Which is a problem, but we're trying to stay in the game. My military is now fifth. It's definitely not going all that well. As for my... Wow, my fit is actually first. That's really surprising. And in terms of everything else, my score is the highest. Very surprising, I'll be honest with you. And Starhawk, it looks like he's gaining a good advantage over Knossos, uh, I mean Coxos. And Swarm Lord, which is good and by all means very important. 24% diplomatic victory. For some reason, I feel like I'm not gonna get it. Anyway, anyway, I'm gonna pause the recording and I will be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with even more LS pace multiplayer goodness, where I'm trying to not fall asleep if at all possible, which will be rather difficult and challenging. But hey, a man can try and a man can dream. And a man can do other stuff that I am apparently not doing right now. Anyway, let's disband because this fleet would wipe out my fleet already in my ship. Because it was just a single ship and I was able to do much about it. Now, there's apparently a fleet over... Thank you. I cannot see it, but I'm gonna assume that it is indeed over there. 
So just make it in construction yard. I do need to capture the lol next thingy because it's obviously here and I don't want this guy to be over there. Nice hollow dreadnought you have there. <laughs> oh, somebody else has a dreadnought. Yeah, that's the problem. People are already, you know, catching up in terms of knowledge. I did have my dreadnoughts in this particular terror. As you can see, here they are. I will be able to make bigger ships now, which is very important. But first of all, let us attack this tiny little fleet while I still can. So let's have a quick look. Let's go for guilding targeting and for default formation because it again this will target my armor ships, which are pretty much indestructible at this point in time because hey, they are awesome like this. Anyway, what do I start with? Well, let's go for adaptive strategy, then let's go for more adaptive strategy, and then let's go for nano persistence and fight this in an auto battle because I don't think it is too you know exciting of a battle. And yeah, the enemy just decided to run away, and I was kind of expecting this a little bit. Alright, so, I need to design a bigger ship, and by, by a bigger ship I mean uh, a very big ship. That's what I'm designing right now. So this guy will be a little bit of a tank, but not exactly. I have my tank over here, he has an amazing tank. This guy, however, he's got a bonus to auto repair when he is severely damaged, so that's awesome. So th he does want to have some extra armor, but not too much. I'll give him like two maybe, and that's the absolute everything I'm willing to give him. Power and repair are important. Actually, I'm gonna take one damage away from him right away. Two point defense drones, because that's important, and a bomber. Actually, two bombers, because hey, why not? Actually, one bomber less and one fighter more. No, I have fighters with my other ships. And this guy is going to get one of each defense, only one, he doesn't need anything more. Then a ton of long range defenses, and by a ton I mean literally a ton. And that's actually good. Let's go for miss long range missiles only with this guy. He's got the persistence of his damage will be with those bombers, they can do quite a nice decent amount of damage. And at the same time, he does gain a bonus to damage when he's severely injured. That said, I know, no, he doesn't get a bonus to damage, he just gets a bonus to auto repair, which is nice. It will make him much difficult to take down, and at the same time, he can deal a very nice amount of damage to my enemies. A platform for success. Oh no, Leviathan, that's the name of this achievement. Never mind. Anyway, so let's start making this guy wherever I can, which is hopefully on like all of my systems. So let's have a quick look. A very big guy. Oh wow, I can only make a single one. That's really so scary. Wow, they cost a six whole 600 industry. This is incredible. Wow, they cost a lot, don't they? All right, well, I'll make two of those guys and uh, my other sisters can continue trying to work on their armor ships because I do need more armor. I need some shields for my very big guys, very big ships. As for Wonder, this guy actually, hold on a second, how is Wonder besieged? Oh yeah, it is actually besieged by a guy with only invasion power, which is very annoying as you might imagine, but there isn't much I can do about this, unfortunately. Okay, uh, what else, what else is there to do for me? I could colonize this planet, but I'd much rather not just do that. Oh, actually save up my industry, because apparently doing anything costs you a ton of industry nowadays. I don't know what is with this industry, I seriously do not. How dare it be like this, like the way it is. And I don't think it's made any sense whatsoever. Anyway, my people are clearly unhappy by being very, very happy. That's rather surprising. Anyway, let's quickly change my tax rate for a second. Now, those guys all want to be smart and uh, head into my home system because they've seen that there's, there are people heading into low system. I could try it and chase them. No point because this fleet will get there first, I believe, while well, those guys... Let's just go to low next to do or whatever. And this should be relatively okay. Now, what else is there to deal with? Probably a lot, but I just cannot grasp it all with my mind. It's just so many, there are just so many things happening. Now, any systems that are stagnated and are not doing anything about it. Wonder is, as I noticed, already stagnated, so... Oh yeah, but it is not doing anything about it for a reason, so there isn't much I can do. So in fact, you know what I'm going to do? I oh, will, first of all, I don't need this dust conversion, I believe, because I'm gaining, and I'm losing dust, but not a whole lot. So, dear low system, I need, I think I'm pretty certain, well, I do need to have, I do need the system to still have some food production, but I also really need to start working on, you know, industry production. I will leave some food via the use of the asteroids, which is a little bit funny, but whatever. Gaitria, you definitely are still not maxed out and I still need the system to have more food, but I also need it to be a little bit more productive, because otherwise I think we might just be overwhelmed by the sheer amount of the forces that the enemy is able to deploy. Blue balls, how about you this, sir? Well, uh, it is almost maxed out, so really what I can do is just sail 
say, okay, make me some better exploitations because, yeah, it is more, almost maxed out. I guess it is. It will not hurt to actually live. Actually, I could live hyperscans for hyperscape farms. Good job, brain. Hyperscape farms on Terran, but instead, let's just make it give me even more dust. Now, that's the blue boss construction yard. Construction yard is almost maxed out as well. So, let's make sure that it is going to be really maxed out. Do you want to go for a lot of uh, production on my home system? Or do I want to go for... Well, those are deserts. They are best suited for lots of dust. So I think I'll go for just that. I'll go for what those plants are designed to do. Because extra dust means that I will be able not to only to afford my fleet. But maybe also to buy out ships on those systems that are slightly less productive. So let's have a quick look. Thank you is next on the list. Let's make sure that it is in fact ready. Geos uh, industrial stations over there. Yeah, actually, this system is ready. So let's have a quick look at Hog Gazer. It should be not ready at all because, wow, I didn't do anything with that. So let's make sure that this is changed because this is unbelievable. I forgot to do anything about the system. And now I think I will be able to turn end my turn as soon as those guys run away from Swami Glare because they clearly do not are not supposed to be there. They will just be wiped out if I let them stay. Unfortunately, but hey, there isn't much else I can do. Alright, I did lose my shield, and um, wow, those guys have a big amount of firepower. But anyway, I was able to make it to the end of the turn, and we're actually progressing right away. Unknowingly, because I was hoping for, you know, end of turn. And, uh, well, let's see what they say. If we don't finish this up in another hour, I think we're going to have to arrange some other time. I don't think... Uh, I didn't even do it. Yeah, okay, I see. I'm sorry, I have to read it out loud, because I'm so tired. And so confused about everything, about life, death, and whatnot, that I do not even know what I'm doing. You have to understand, after five or even six hours, I don't know, of commentating it, it can get to you. It really can, and that's what is happening with me right about now. So let's have a quick look. Somebody's fighting on Wonder. Oh, okay, this guy clearly did reinforce his army. And now he thinks that he's clever because he's got a lot of units. Alright, I'm fine with that because I'm about to launch my own counter expedition. And this will not be something that you deserve will take lightly. You deserve stay over there. I will gladly fight and I think I'll have to ask those guys to actually end this, uh, end this match soon. It's almost 3 a.m. It's about to become 3 a.m. I don't think I can, I can continue this <laughs> if I have to be totally honest. I'm really tired. I'm really trying to take a grip on the reality. I cannot and oh no. I'm converting into a system where the enemy is already at. They are trying to take over the Ophinos, they will never be able to succeed because they don't have any invasion power. And they are just trying to annoy me, but it doesn't really annoy me because there is nothing on the Ophinos. It's not like I care about the system or anything. What is that? Now they also did invade Sma same glare or whatever. That's a little bit more annoying because I cannot make my ships over there. I'll have to deal with that in a moment. Still though, what else is there for me to actually do? Not too sure there's armor over there. Well, why not make it go somewhere? might as well right and uh, engage in one last battle before I end the cast and ask those guys to actually postpone the rest of this match for tomorrow uh, to, I won't be able to play tomorrow but some other time anyway this guy long range medium range long range and uh, he cannot resolve the battle well I didn't start it yet so give me a second uh, he's probably talking about a different battle uh, nose breaker default formation I should be able to kill those guys relatively easily-ish. So let's have a quick look at how do I want to resolve this. Let's start by going for the strategy. Actually, hold on a second. Those guys love long range. So let's start by going for short circuit instead. Then go for no barrier. I cannot even think. Another strategy and then repairing damage I may have taken. In fact, let's go for double repairs. So that's that. And let's manual. For one last battle before I end this cast and then I'll beg those guys to stop because I cannot I cannot keep going. Oh. Alright, they can hear that the enemy is talking somewhere. I wonder if the, uh, the fight the guy I'm fighting right now around this battle or out of this battle or not. Pro he I think judging by the amount of messages that there are outside of this battle, I'm pretty certain that this guy did the battle on auto and now he is surprised because he didn't expect me to actually mine this battle. But I think that we might as well get some explosions before we end this cast, shall we? I mean, it has been a very 
big challenge to actually continue talking for I have no idea how many hours. The fact that I'm still alive is mostly a surprise to me and I want to see if I was able to counter this guy or not. Actually, hold on a second. Other strategy, it counters engineering quite well. So let's go for... Oh, I didn't... I wasn't able to count to change my tactics in time. So that's a little bit annoying. The enemy was able to counter me there because I wasn't clicking fast enough. But then again, I am... I... You have to excuse me, I guess. Whatever. We'll have to deal with that. Anyway, the enemy still is not using any fighters or bombers, so that's... Mm, a good thing to know, I guess. And I'm still using fighters and bombers, so I can... As you can see... Wow, look at this fighter. I really do love the Sofa fighters. They're way cooler than the rest of the Sofa fleet, in my honest opinion. So I am able to do some and wide use of my fighters and bombers, and that's basically my main damage source. And that's how I'm trying to stay in the game, and maybe, just maybe be able to, you know, maybe win this fight, maybe? Um, am I asking for much? I might be, but anyway, I was able to counter the enemy for a change, so that's very nice. I wonder if I will be able to destroy- Yes, I did destroy the entire enemy fleet, there we go! That's a good end to this video cast. Ladies and gentlemen, it was Pandros of the Mighty Mix Bummer. Now I'll start begging the players to stop this video, this game because it is ridiculous. Thank you very much for watching this uh, for such a long time. I'll see if we can continue onwards, if we can schedule another game to resume where it's left off. But this was an amazing match. I'm so happy to be here. I'm very tired, however. Thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoy those video casts. Please appreciate the work I had to put in those. Mostly my voice, because it is. it looks like my voice is about to walk out of my body and just kill myself with a shotgun. But that's about it. We'll sponge us with the Mighty Mix Power. If you somehow matched in this video, then you know what to do. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you online.